Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 37. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to import or load compressed files directly without extracting it to hard disk. The problem uh, statement is we want to import or load compressed file directly without extracting it to hard disk. So what happens in a uh, typical uh, case is like when a DBA is asked to load the data uh, into some table, he is not given the actual DEL file or the CSV file. So instead he is provided with a compressed form of the DEL file or CSV file. Uh, in Unix you have the utilities gzip, zip or compress to compress the file. So what happens is you will get a .gz or .zip or .z uh, uh, extension files which actually is the compressed version of the DEL or CSV file. So the, the DBA has to first extract the uh, gz file or zip file or z file into the actual del or csv file then he has to use the import or load utility to load the data from the del or csv file so the limitation with this approach is it's a two-step process so there is additional cpu and io cycles like particularly hard disk like you have to create a uh, uncompressed uh, uh, del file and then again you have to read from the same del file the, the load utility or the import utility so it becomes a two-step process consuming additional cpu and hard disk io cycles and additional hard disk space is also needed. See the compressed file might be only 1 GB, but the uncompressed file will, might be even of 10 GB. So that is the limitations. So what is the solution for this? The solution for this is we can use the import or load utility to load from a named pipe. So what happens like the named pipe is a special type of file available in both Unix and uh, uh, Windows versions, but the Unix version is somewhat straightforward to implement. And uh, what happens in this is it's a special type of file. It will not consume any hard disk space and it uses the IPC uh, like inter-process communication. It is used for uh, inter-process communication. One process will send the output to this particular uh, pipe and another process will read the uh, thing from this pipe, read the data from this pipe. So uh, instead of creating a file in the hard disk, the unzip command will send the uncompressed output to this named pipe file. It will redirect this to the named pipe file and the load utility will simultaneously read from the named pipe file. So that's how this command works. So first we need to create a named pipe file. You can use the mkfifo command to create a named pipe file. Use the unzip command uh, wherein the unzip command will uncompress the data and stream it to the named pipe file using the redirection operator. And once that is done, uh, you will see that the unzip process actually does not extract the data to hard disk because it is just uh, redirecting the output to this named pipe file. And the named pipe file will be read by the import or the load utility uh, using the import or load from named pipe of del insert into table command okay so this let's see this in action then it will be very clear uh, for you okay so here actually i am having uh, one database one second so let me just first start the instance and activate the database okay okay so su hyphen db2 inst1 db2 inst1 okay i need to log in first okay now db2 start okay then i'll activate the database also so db2 activate db test okay now first i'll just show you the uh, contents of the csv file that we are going to uh, load okay so this is the content of the csv file it has three records for the demonstration okay abc bac and cba so instead of using this del file or the csv file i'm going to create a zip version of this file because that is only available with the dbs okay so i've created the zip version so after creating the zip version, I'm creating this. Uh, I'm creating this uh, named pipe file. Okay. See so mkfifo data dot del. So this data dot del file, you can particularly look at the disk size. It is zero, and it is a p here, which means it's a named pipe file. It's not a file that will consume hard disk uh, space. Okay. So this named pipe file we have created. After this, what I'm doing is look at this unzip hyphen p data.zip so i am taking the data.zip file i am unzipping it so the uncompressed output is redirected to the named pipe file that's what i am doing here see here 
and you will see that this is not actually hanging but uh, the command is actually waiting so because it is writing it to, into a streamed pipe it is just waiting for somebody to read then only the actual un uh, uncompressing will will start okay so another process has to read from the uh, named pipe so it is waiting for that okay so in another terminal i'll connect to the test database i'll show you the records uh, initially what is there uh, no records will be there actually so connecting to test okay yes you will from db2 inst1 db2 inst1 So I'm connecting to the test database. So no records are there currently. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to issue the import command from data.del. So this is the named pipe file of del insert into this table. That's all. Okay. And I'm also after that selecting the data to show that. Okay. So the import command is run. See three records have been loaded. One, two, three, ABC. And you can see that the unzip command also is completed here because it was waiting till the time somebody reads it so the import utility has read it and it has loaded the data okay uh, the same another example i'm just creating a gzip file here okay so with dot gz extension this just to demonstrate the another uh, kind of uh, utility okay gzip utility i have created data dot gz okay and look at this command now See, I can even pre-process the data. See, gzip iPhone cd data dot gz will stream the uh, output to the SED command. So, SED command is a stream editor command. It will substitute all the capital A's with capital X, and it will stream it to data dot del. So, this is a very important thing actually. A very good advantage with this kind of a command. Okay. So, the, now the process is running. Okay. So, when it loads the data now, right? So, again, I am going to import the data here. But after import, you will see that, see that that's a very significant uh, difference here. Okay. See again, three records have been loaded. So total six records will be there. But look at this here, one, two, three, X, B, C, B, X, C, C, B, X. So which means all the uh, character A in the data file has been replaced by X, right? And we did not even extract the file into hard disk, right? So the gzip command was streamed to the stream editor command, which substituted those values and send it to the named pipe and import command read from the named pipe and it has imported the data so because of that now look at the new data so it's a modified thing even though the, the gzip file does not have the uh, data abc like that xbc like that it's still able to modify so that's the powerful uh, mechanism using this named pipe and it has not created any uh, if you look at here see it is still a zero bytes file only okay so it will not consume any hard disk space also I hope this was useful to you. Uh, uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, DB2 LUW Academy. Uh, see you in next video tutorial. Thanks. Bye-bye.